I'm sorry that the last episode kind of ended on a weird note. Like, uh, I was given food and things like that and, uh, stuff. So, yeah, I'm sorry it went ended on a weird note, but anyway, let's continue. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of... Oh, that's a word again. Uh, marijuana sauce. And then he drank it like it was a, a thing that normal people do. It, it was unholy. And then he asked... And then I asked him what the hell he was doing. And he said, and I quote, It's basically like smoothies, bro. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. Hmm. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel lately. Later. Oh God. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda, Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before I can sit. Too bad we're gonna be. Putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Mm. Oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. Wait, where are you going? You're leaving me? <laughs> Please don't. I know, I know. It's just you're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day. And I'll take lots of pic lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photograph photography major. You promise? Yes. Of course. You're gonna be okay by your lonesome. Oh come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Yes. A dog? <laughs> Forget it, art stool. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Medium sized dog, handkerchief around the neck, I get to name it. That's what it will cost for me to give up on my dream. I'm a woman with simple wants and needs. So you basically want a dog kinda like the one that we met Maxwell that we met at the park. Alright then. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Amanda laughs. Oh. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shovels through them. She pulls one of them and throws the rest on the floor. Yes. This is from the uh, McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it! Mm. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Uh. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. No big deal. Uh. Don't be sarcastic with me. She takes a deep breath and rips the leather open with her teeth. You have a little opener, but okay. Mm. I hold my breath. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admit the admitters committed has reviewed her application. Blah blah blah. Um, we. <sighs> Her face drops. We're going to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan, um, McGowan College's Art and Design. Oh no, baby! No! My cupcake! No! Uh. Oh no! My Manda Panda! Oh! Pap! I pap you! Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I'm sorry, coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Portfolio. Their admissions, um, admissions officer told me they just wanted to see portraits or whatever. Put Amanda. Uh, pull Amanda in for a big hug. Give me a hug, Amanda Panda. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some of the school is gonna wa uh, is gonna want to snatch you up for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I know. It's fine. 
Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? Mm. I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Ah. Oh! And um, before I forget, MRR and Amber please P is sleeping over tonight. Ah oh, no! The name like get confused. <sighs> so you need me out of your way because I'm a painful a uh, painfully uncool. So basically you're kinda chucking me out of the house. Wow. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight. So you'll have a new pl so you have the new place to yourself. Yeah? What are your plans? Quick, think of plans. Um I'm se <laughs> I'm secretly the mayor of this town. Oh my god, I wish. Man, the town needs me. I need to perform my mer merrily duties. Ugh, excuse me. I must don my top hat, don my top hat, and wear my monocle, my monocle, so that I may, uh, so that I may, uh, proceed over my mer stuff. Am I literally being England right now if he was mayor? Oh my god. I think you're thinking of that guy from Monopoly. He was a mayor, right? Mm -hmm. He was not. Right. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Go to bed or watch the, ga the game. Anything for a game, I guess. Nice. Mm. Which game? You know, the game! The one that's on tonight. <gasps> the game on TV at somewhere other than here. Ah. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm gonna do drugs and commit and commit some light arson with the others. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Amanda shrugs. Don't shrug at me. I would have expected you guys to be up for a while, uh, uh, to be up to white collar crime by by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. Nah. I'm a street rat, pops. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? <sighs> yes, Dad. Just making sure. Um, I worry about my kids. I just pat her on the head. <laughs> Have fun with the sports. Your sports. Are you being sarcastic? <sighs> no. Making fun of sports is played out. Uh. Alright then. I just... I just like cleaning around the house and decided to, cl uh, to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda uh. stops me. Hey, don't forget that you have a meeting with uh, with my English teacher tomorrow. Alright, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Is he going to be another one of the dads? Okay. Well, I guess I didn't... I guess I really didn't think of this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest barring a man is and... And the manager still has to show me how to use the GPS on my phone. So I'm just gonna pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go this way. Cool, okay. We're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance? Could it be? It's a bar! Okay. A big, burnt down neon sign hangs above tiny dry, uh, t tiny dive bar. Jim and Kins, huh? Alright, it will do. Whoa! Nice! Okay. Uh... The bar is small and dimly lit. The, um... The crack of the, uh, pullable sound, um... Sound in the back is... As, uh, patrons laugh and joke. A string... A string of... Multi a string of multicolored Christmas lights hovered over the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I'll pull up a seat at the bar. 
What'll it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. Bartender slides me an ice cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? It's Neil. N uh, oh, you're Neil. I'm Neil. Oh. I currently turn my attention to the game, which is playing on the TV. Uh, which is playing on um on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team my team of preference is is not only playing but currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. The brighter colored mascot, which is some kind of animal, animal does cartwheels. Wow. I slightly cheer on my, on my favorite tier team, hoping that I don't get any um, confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposite team. Several people at this bar are wearing uh, disti um, distinct colors of the team I dislike. Although I believe, uh, uh, although I believe from Demania um, that, like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. Hey. Uh, hello. Okay. Hi. A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass slides slides up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Hey, sailor. Sailor? Oh, hello. I'm a sailor. Uh, hello. Ah. Good to see you. Hey, good to see fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often? Oh, no, I actually just moved to the part of town today. I'm Alfred. But I'm Alfred, by the way. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with ease. Oh, oh I love that team. Oh, yay! Fan! Uh, the, and I also love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. What do you mean by that? Okay. I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. No shit. Uh, no, 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 um, blah, 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 that's what I mean. No blah. Um, ah. buy this girl a drink. Um, you know what? You, you like the game, so why not buy Mary a drink? I almost can signal the bartender to offer another glass of wine. No no jokes back and forth with Mary. They're clearly they're clearly friends and clearly isn't the first time doing this. She tips her glass at me. Suppose I gotta keep you company now. Oh. So what do you wanna know? Uh What's the latest gossip around here? You came you came to the right broad. Oh. I'm an observer. I watch people. I see everything. I know everyone. Nothing gets past me. You sound kinda creepy now! So... Ugh. So what? I thought you were gonna... Ah. I forgot what we were talking about. Oh. Put your drink down, then! About the gossip. You said nothing gets past you? <gasps> oh, right! I'm also a tool trap. I'm also a stool trap. Uh, confidently a, a fault. Ah. Uh, so what else can you tell me about this part of uh. town? It's quiet, that's for sure. If you want, if you want an uh, idyllic little life, the um, the right uh, with white picket fence. This is the place to do it. But every town has its secret, you know. She takes a sip for a drink. And, f and was a little too um, um, imminent, imminent for the taste. She leans closer. Hey. Would you like to learn some of my secrets? Oh boy. Uh, maybe some Come other on. time. See yourself, sailor. 
Oh, okay. Bye. Uh, Mary's... Uh, son's off. Uh, sending our sights on the news bar patron to enter. I happily watched the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in, um, turns of points, uh, uh, points, sorry. A little too close to what they're comfortable with. After a practically school player, um, scores the number one points in the other team, putting them in the lead. I hear, for, um, for made of a grunt from another a man at the bar. Go team! Oh! Wait a minute! You're the guy who looked over at me at the ca at the coffee spoon! Hi there! Alright then. Um, it is a brooding man with, from the coffee spoon. He sits alone, sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Enjoying the game? And now that we're winning. Oh. We must be running for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based upon our win or loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong. That's where you're wrong. Since, uh, since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. Conversation ends if we both go back to sign the rooting for our Teams, the game is, is the game is close. So both sides are playing their hardest to win, but in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers rippling through the bar. There is a respectful glass to the mar uh, to the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us, and based on the mutual love for the game. He motioned to the boat bartender, who. Pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides a one over to me. The name's Robert. Thanks, I'm Alfred. Hey. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you? Yeah. Mm. Robert chuckles. What is with your voice? It kind of sounds... <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, it kind of sounds hot. Uh. She's a peach. Well, you eat the best bar in town. It's sli it's slimy as it is. You'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim and Kim's that run this place? No, that'd be Neil. Neil weighs from across the bar. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Okay. I mean, you're right. Yeah, not enough Neils, but okay. You a whiskey fellow or a beer fella? Beer! Well, I'll drink most things. You like shots? <gasps> um... Sure? Mm -hmm. Thank God. Robert, Robert nods to Neil, who serves uh, two shots of whiskey. He hands uh. one over the mirror. Here's to your health. <laughs> Here's to your health. We take the shots. We skip burns. Uh, skip burns going down. But I tried my hardest to look. It looked tough. Wait. I think this is making. I think this is what making friends is. Okay, Alfred. This guy. Okay, Alfred. This guy's out of my friend league. But I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Uh, compliment, hmm. Compliment jacket. I like your jacket. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Been in my family a long time. Passed down from firstborn to the, f no. Passed down from firstborn to first. Firstborn to firstborn. Cursed, some would say. Oh, okay, right. Man, this guy's mysterious. And cool! Oh, hell yeah. I... Way cooler than uh, than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? 
Uh, my daughter kicked me out of the house. Not like forever. She was having to sleep over with our friends. Mm -hmm. Family type, huh? Single dad. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. He gets up. Be right back. Got a pat on my nose. Okay. It was even rather this talkative. We must like you. Eh, I guess so. I can remember that Robert has a gruff charm to him. It certainly does. If a guy like, if a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs the leather jacket. I'm gonna go home. You're heading my way? Robert and I lead the Laura and find ourselves walking in the same direction. <laughs> I'll have in this car to sec down the uh, down the way. Does everybody live there? Seems so. Me too. We just finished unpacking today. I... Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. Sad. We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns around to me. Oh. I don't kiss and tell, Alfred. Uh -huh. So, are we doing this or what? Um, doing what? Oh. You know, do you want to come inside or not? I mean, you did offer me a drink, so why not? Oh, wait. A wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. Oh no! What is happening? Um, um, um. Just, just smile and nod. Let's do it. I follow him uh, up to his door. He fumbles. With, he uh, fumbles with the keys for a second and unlocks the door, leads me inside. The moment the door closes behind us, he pushes me up against the wall and ki then. Why haven't I found you yet, Matthew? Help me! <laughs> Get me out of it. Well, I mean... What is this music after all? Like, my god. It's like he's prepared for this. It's like he's prepared for this moment ever since he laid my eyes in the coffee spoon. My god! Um. Uh, sure. Why not? Come on. Robert takes my hand and leads me up the stairs and into what I assume is his bedroom. But it's so dark that I can't even see anything but Robert's intense expression. Kisses me again. I can hear him shucking off his jacket. What is he doing? Robert! Robert, Rob. What? I clumsily take off mine too. What am I doing? His hands roam down my chest and suddenly he tugs up my belt. Um. I didn't know I was wearing one. <laughs> I, um, I don't normally do this. Do you want to stop? Can't believe I'm saying this, but I don't want to stop. I don't. No. Robert continues to unbuckle my belt and guides me to the bedroom. Shit, what are you doing, Robert? Let's have some fun. Ah! England, do not kill me for this! Ah! Sunlight streams are between the slates of the, of the blinds. My head is pounding. 
It really overdid last night. Wait a minute. This isn't my old house. Or my new house. <laughs> oh, right. I look around for Robert, but find myself alone. Hello? There's a, uh, there's a cloud from the bathroom and the door opens. Robert is fully dressed and grabs his skis. That was fun. Yeah, but it was. Why am I admitting that? Um. Hingon, please don't kill me for this! Huh. You should go. What was with that side first of all? You should go. Certainly not what I was expecting. Well, um, talk to you later? Mm. Robert cracks a smile. <sighs> kind of smile is that? Okay. Well, sure. Your clothes are over there. I'm not clothed! Oh no! I'm not yeah. clothed! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I hesitantly get dressed and show myself out. The sun is unbearably bright. I need to lie down. I start to make my way home when I suddenly remember. Amanda! Shit! Uh, oh, I just got an achievement. Achievement on what? Bad dad. No, I'm a terrible father already. <laughs> yeah. I rush back home and throw the door open. Something smells delicious. Amanda? <sighs> Amanda rushes out to the kitchen and looks slightly disappointed. Aw yeah. oh, man, I was kinda hoping that you were gone and kidnapped and was gonna have to come and rescue you. Well at least you were gonna come and rescue me, thanks. No, I uh... Made a friend at the bar last night and ended up sleeping over at... His place. Where are the embers? Oh. They left a little while ago. Oh, you guys have fun? Yeah. Watch some movies, ate some acts, stole a car, you know, usual sleepover stuff. Two teens and your lost story. So this breakfast that's cooking what's what's that all about? Hmm. Well, that, there's hash browns and eggs and bacon. Can I? Aww. Yes, you can have some breakfast. Bless you, sweet child. You hear the throbs. <sighs> I gotta do something about this hangover. Amanda, the loving father might have overdone it last <laughs> night. Oh, somebody's hungover. Father of the year. I'm already a bad dad because of the achievement I just got, but yeah. You wouldn't happen to have any aspirin or. Yes! I've got just the thing. Hang on. Huh. Amanda runs to the fridge and pulls out a jar of pickles. Amanda, what? Ah. Drink this. It's. the pickle juice? Whoa! Yep. This is what I used once. Eh. Uh, I would assume someone would use. Uh, I would also assume that it works pretty well. Hmm. Although I've never tried it before. And won't try it, obviously. Who raised you? Jesus. Uh. Um, um. I'll just say Amanda! Gave you alcohol? Was it one of the was it the one of the various emeralds in your life? Ugh. Tad chill. Amanda, I've never had a, an ounce of chill in my life. And you should and you should know that know that by now. That uh you better not be drinking alcohol in the in this household. Uh-huh. Just drink the juice. This better work. I down the super tart juice. No, no. More than that. Way more than that. I mean, I assume. Watch you. 
I drained the pickle juice and helped myself to delicious breakfast that Amanda has graciously allowed me to partake at. Uh, after inhaling some hash browns and drunk several pieces, uh, and dunk, oh, and dunking several pi um pieces of bacon into runny egg yolk, I started to feel a little better. Amanda grabs a backpack and keys. Yeah. Well, I gotta get to class. Don't forget the meeting with Mr. Vega, okay? He said he he said it was important. Love ya. I'll be there. Knock him dead, kid. Ki kiddo. Bleh. <laughs> Always do. We do our secret handshake. We have a secret handshake. Oh yeah. Secret handshake and she's off. Um, I get a little work done at home before I glance at my watch and see that it's almost time for the meeting. I hop in the shower, change clothes, and, he and head on my way. Still a little hungover. A little. Alright. Um, it's probably getting on a little bit, so I'm probably gonna end the episode here. So, yeah. So, well that was interesting. <laughs> Ha ha um England please don't kill me from what Robert and I did uh, please don't <sighs> But anyway so next time we'll uh we'll go to the meeting and talk to Amanda's uh Amanda's English teacher. So yeah, so until then have a good have a good day, Kawaii people, and take care.